Well, it's the cornerstone of, I think, every entrepreneurial journey. You need to be able to lead a group of people into a whole new area. And um, that takes a whole different set of skills and mindsets that would not necessarily be relevant for a large company. Uh, you need to be able to be uh, flexible, you need to be uh, highly responsive and pivot quite a lot. And so when you um, have those needs, you need to be trained uh, to be able to do that and to be able to lead a group of people to be able to do things like that, that they might not be used to doing having spent time in industry. So we teach with a mix of lectures, activities, which we refer to as games, and debriefs, and all of these things build on each other. So we take students through a leadership topic, and then we'll have them play a game or activity to learn about that topic, about themselves and how to interact with the world. And then we'll have a debrief in which we take that experience and show them how their performance and activity contributes to that leadership topic. And I think that's a really effective way for students to see not just how you know, a case or a, a historical model would approach a situation, but how they themselves approach a situation. And that makes the education real and experiential, I think, in a powerful way. Um, that's a great explanation. I think it's, um, you know, it's really hard to get anyone but let alone uh, a new um, innovator, a new entrepreneur, to be able to develop skills in a short amount of time. And what we found is that the, the, to make these new behaviors and new mindsets stick, we need to give them opportunities to practice them. And the best way that we found uh, to give them that space to do that is within the context of a game, which most instructors would, would say are exercises, but because we construct them to be, uh, to be very game-like with, with goals and with strategy and whatnot, we, we like to call them games.